Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. In this video, we will cover getting started with the Optics handheld laser system. All users must review the owner's manual in its entirety and be fully trained before using the Optics system. Warning, class four invisible laser radiation can permanently damage eyes and skin. Everyone present during laser operation must wear both Miller Optics laser welding helmet and laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers. Unpacking your optics system. Your optics system will arrive on a pallet in a standard shipping box. Before unpacking, inspect for any damage that might have occurred during shipping. Also, check the tip and shock indicators located on the outside of the packaging. Please note that the optics laser torch is attached on top, packed inside the styrofoam tray. Carefully remove the top styrofoam packing. These are some of the accessories that are included with your optics laser system, including an accessories kit, torch cradle, laser welding helmet, and laser safety glasses. Now it's time to move your optics machine to your work area. Please note, it is strongly advised to use two people to lift this machine. We recommend placing your optics system on a sturdy table or cart for easy front panel access and operation. There should be adequate room for airflow. Now, let's review the connections on the back of the optics system. The clamp should be attached directly to the part or to an electrically conductive work surface on which the part is sitting. In this example, we are attaching the clamp to our work table. Next, we will connect the gas line to the optics system. Now that the gas line is connected, we will turn on and adjust the pressure on the gas tank. Review the owner's manual to learn more about the recommended gas types and mix. Next, we will attach the safety interlocks connector with the supplied two screws. This device is used to connect your interlock system with the optics system. In this example, we have the optics connected to a dual interlock system mounted on the door. In order for the interlock light to illuminate, the door must be closed. The welding gun nozzle must be touching the workpiece, and the welding torch trigger 1 must be depressed. The light indicates that the interlock is satisfied and it is safe to begin welding. If the door is open during welding, the interlock light will turn off and the optics machine will immediately power off. You will also see an error code appear in the laser power display window. To reset the laser, release the triggers on the welding gun. Press trigger 1 on the torch again to clear and reset the optics. You are now able to resume welding. Let's go over inspecting and replacing the protective lens or covered glass in the optics torch. Prior to performing any kind of maintenance on the optics system, you should shut off the unit and remove the AC power connection. Prior to your first weld, ensure that the covered glass is installed in the weld head. On the weld head, turn the silver nut shown here counterclockwise to disengage the nozzle assembly from the torch. Flip open the cap to access the covered glass. If needed, replace the covered glass and securely close the cap. Now that we have made all of our connections and checked the covered glass, it's time to turn on the optic system. The optic system can be turned on using the supplied key. Please note, it takes up to five seconds for the system to run an internal diagnostic before it is ready to operate. Each system is equipped with a safety emergency stop button on the front of the unit. This can be used to shut off laser power immediately and prevent laser emission. If your optic system did not power on as shown in this video, make sure the emergency stop button is not engaged. If the button is depressed, twist and pull the button out. Finally, let's go over the personal protective equipment needed when using the optics. 
The operator and any spectators in the welding area must wear full protective equipment when the laser is operating. These include laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers, laser welding helmet, jacket, apron or other skin protection, and welding gloves. Be sure to check our other video on program modes and control adjustments for more information on operating the optics. This concludes getting started with the optics laser system. Please watch our other videos for additional operating instructions and laser welding tips.